And this is what all these LAN stages have been about, getting to the Smite World Championships. You guys can come too. Head over to HiresExpo.com and you can get your tickets right about now as well. And to do that, you can also put a promo code in this weekend that will help you out. Group dash B. If you place that in, you will also be able to get your tickets at a discounted 25% off as well. Anyway, on to the very final game, the penultimate game, I should say, between the last remaining teams to play in Group B. First of all, Tully's joining me and Taco. How are you doing today, Taco? I, I'm just a little bit confused right now. Are you are you really that bad? You only get to cast one set today. What? Wait. Anyway, Tully, <laughs> how's things with you right about now? You had a good day so far. I can't complain. You know, casting the last sets with Allegiance, it was pretty epic. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna we see Eager and Luminosity qualify to the Super Regionals, and it's gonna be exciting to see the last set of the day as well. I just I just wanna. Stop for a second because Taco, I knew that was coming from Taco because of the fact that she couldn't remember what she wanted to I, say. It don't, so she you wrote weren't supposed it down. to sell me out, Hindu. She wrote I cannot it down. believe you right now. See, yes, can you read that? She legit wrote down what she was that's supposed not, to say. You can't prove that's my handwriting. You, you actually you just can't said prove it though, that. Didn't you? you did just say it though, didn't you? Useless, useless, useless. That's my analyst desk. A lot totally can be more useful forcing the issue. I love <laughs> to force the issues. I know you do, Tully. Into the last set we go, though. It's going to be LG, who are in a very high spirits right about now. They've managed to get themselves into the Super Regionals. Their opposition here is going to be Noble Esports, who are still fighting for points here, Tully. It's very important for both of these teams heading into the Super Regionals or the Gauntlet to fight for that seeding heading forward into the future. Noble, they've been progressively going better and better throughout this week, and I wouldn't be surprised if they take a game away, at least, from Luminosity. What do you think about that? Taco, do you think we'll see? From what I have heard from Noble, they definitely want a 2-0. They, really? they, they actually are interested in getting the 2-0 because even though it wouldn't really make much of a difference as far as LG is concerned and them going to Super Regionals, just on the pride aspect of things, Noble definitely want to go ahead and take this away. Well, there's Woman on your screen. He's a bit of hit or miss this weekend. He was expected to be one of the potential stars of this team. Let's have a little look at what some of the players have to say about him. I love Woman. Um, he's a really funny guy. Every time we do in-houses together, he's just hilarious. I love playing with him. And I think he's actually one of the best players on the team. He's like the captain of the team and he's shot taller and everything. He's really good. Woman has been a support in Smite for a really long time. Woman. Well, I, I've put a lot of, of rank against Woman. It's funny because I know Woman used to be known for like rage quitting rank and um, but I feel like he's really grown as like a support player. He's definitely grown a lot over the like past couple years playing support, which is good to see. He was a really cool dude. Um, pretty much had every ability. His Sylvanas is nuts. Um, um, he used to kind of tilt and get mad and make mistakes and be out of position a lot. So I'm gonna expect the same thing here in this SP or in these matches on my plan. And he's always been a really good player. I always thought that he honestly I always thought he should, should have been in SP a lot sooner than he was. It's going to be fun to watch him play for sure. I'm really excited to see how he, how he does at LAN. Well, it is going to be fun to see how he plays at LAN, and we've seen him all weekend long, and he's got one more set to go here. Does We've seen a lot of Athena out of him, Tully. Do we expect to see some spice in the final set? I wouldn't be surprised, because from what we've seen coming out of Noble, they've been locking in a lot of his picks early on, sometimes picking up the Sobek, which is a flex pick as well to Walrus. He's been able to adapt going from war Warrior to Guardian. What about you, Taco, here? With the side of Noble Esports, who, are the, who should we be watching in this game? I'd say, honestly, to put more of the focus onto Mirage in this game for Team Noble, I think that we might see some of the old Mirage that a lot of players who have been in Smite for a long time are kind of the always been expecting players, him. Basically. Exactly. Like, I, I think we can expect to see a bit of a more spicy pick coming out of him. I'm not sure for the rest of Noble. I think for the most part, like I said, since they're interested in actually picking up that 2-0, they do really want to go with standard picks that they feel would be like priority picks to their composition. And I know for Webin, they consider him to be a bit of a pinnacle of their team as far as structure and everything is concerned. 
and I think that it's just important that they secure him something that he feels comfortable with. Well, no belief spells here. Half first pick, first ban, and their first ban sell is going to be Jingwei. I'm surprised that they're not leaving it open, trying to first pick it themselves. It's one of those great hunters that really have a lot of flexibility, win or lose. If you're behind in the laning phase, you can come back in so quickly with that passive. But Noble, I think it's still going to be another strategy where they rely on the Guardian first pick, Luminosity, taking away the Athena. To be fair, though, I mean, Jingwei is 100% win ratio for Luminosity now, even at the LAN and online as well. So it's not a bad situation to want to ban that one away. Not at all. Banning it away instead of taking it, it's still a great idea against Luminosity. We've seen how comfortable Xenotronics is with that Jingwei. Yeah, it's definitely a pick that Xeno can feel comfortable with. And like we've seen before, Bear can also pick it up as well and perform just as well, if not better, on well, that Jingwei. Banning out Barracuda is not the easiest thing in the world to do. He just pulled out Rama and just hit those hot snipes in some of those games too. Noble will get first pick now with the band phase over with. And two supports banned means that Guan Yu will be picked up. And that is flexible, but more than likely support. Great pickup from Noble. You have the sustain, like you mentioned. There is a little bit of flexibility between support and the soul lane. Some Chung specifically DJ like to run it in the jungle but probably gonna stick to Wubbin right now he wants to be able to stick in those little 3v3 skirmishes between his mid and jungler and on top of that we're gonna see Susana Sobek locked in as well so more than likely Jeff Hinnell going back to the Sobek here and Mask gonna get his preferred option yeah, it wouldn't surprise me in the slightest for Mass to go ahead and opt to take the Susana. He's had pretty great performances on it whenever he has played the Susana, so <gasps> I think it's definitely a strong pick for him indeed. And here could potentially be that Thanatos pick we've all been waiting Natalie, for, especially me. Why are we all excited about Thanatos here? What, first of all, explain who Mirage is. Mirage is the Dirty Bubble. The Dirty Bubble? The one and only. <laughs> and he's made a name for himself playing the Thanatos with a different style as well, being more tanky and it's gonna be and the we hate Thor him. Move on. We hate him. We hate just him. let it go just let it go we he's dead him. to us rubbish now. bubble that's what he is now rama picked up by noble esports as well and now obviously you know it's gonna be disappointing to see no thanatos I'm, i was so excited i'm man. already heartbroken i just I, I could see you could see the camera hovering over him and you just knew exactly what he was trying to do moment of silence for thanatos Moment has passed, and now Luminosity going to look at Chung. Ah, uh, mid lane. I uh, see. Here's he knows feeling about... it. He knows not even the second can hear me. He's like, here's, yeah. <laughs> here's the thing about Chang'e though. I I don't really see this fitting into something. Yeah, I I, I don't see Chang'e as something that Zeno would want to 100% go ahead and roll with just yet. Maybe if they take this third game for themselves today, then you might potentially see it coming out in their last game. But to be fair, I mean Chang'e as well is one of those picks that it has been seen competitive play wise in terms of Kiki over in North America too, totally. And if you show that you can play Chang'e, then teams will actually realize it's in your back pocket. So maybe he doesn't want to reveal the strat. I, it's very likely, honestly, that he just wouldn't want to go ahead and give away all of their cards before Super Regionals, considering they still have some training to do beforehand as well. Changa is one of those great defensive gods in the mid lane, which succeeds very well against the Thor and the Guan Yu, whose whole strategy is to kind of dive you and go all in with the Cavalry Charge, the Anvil of Dawn, the Teleport to the Hammer as well. So I like the idea and the mindset. Even just teasing the Changa here could set up Luminosity in the second game. Very true indeed. Isis and Freya banned out by the boys. Back over to Luminosity for their final ban here. Expect another mid lane against Adoro? Of, and there it goes. I, I was actually... Oh, <laughs> I there mean, you go. They're, they're solving this for me. I, I think that Luminosity also took that beside him because it's something that they have seen Adoro play before, and he is known to have it as a comfort pick, even though some, most people might not value the Poseidon very highly. Banning out the Zeus and Isis, again, those are also two picks that Duro feels incredibly comfortable on, so they're definitely looking to target ban him out. Well, talking about options here, Barracuda hovering over Ho Yi right now. We've not seen too much of it so far, but Baron's just shown he's got a bit more in his god pull here, Tully. It's really good with Mark of the Golden Crow. You're going to be able, if Thor, knowing it's Mirage, that's going to be playing this Thor, usually he builds a very tanky. Yes. And who he is very good about eliminating tanky targets as well as Nemesis, but they already have Susano, so maybe this is going to be Scary D playing the Susano this time around. Maybe, maybe, or it could even be Barracuda playing Susano. What do you think about AD carry Assassin? We used to see that <laughs> way back in the day where we saw double warriors, double like assassins coming out of the dual lane, but it's not something that we've seen recently. I mean, we've seen Mercury before, right? That was the last one I can really remember being there. That was with the Golden, Golden Bow, Bow, where it was yeah. very easy no, to no, clear. No, before Golden Bow. It, actually, no, was it Golden Bow? Yeah, Golden Bow was still there. Yeah. Ignore me. I'm not old enough in some ways. <laughs> but you, I thought you were 54. I, 
Can we not bring up my age again? Tully, why are you starting things off? Stop trying to force the issue. Amaterasu <laughs> logged in for Noble Esports here as well. And then Giannis as well. Why, do, why does the other says try and fire shots? It's never going to work. What do you think about the composition from Noble here, Taco? I, I like Noble's composition, believe it or not. I think that the Guan Yu is actually really good for them because Noble has a tendency to drag out these awkward objective fights that can you know, sometimes they're not really sure on their positioning and things like that. So I think the Guan Yu, if anything, will be really good at helping them sustain through those moments. But honestly, if I see Scary D on that Susano, I'm just going to say that it's because Scary D told Cope, this is how you play Susano solo. Oh, do you reckon that's the same way, Tully? It's very possible that Scary D wants to kind of be kind of highlight flashy oh, in this right. set so we could see it and it's gonna be a moosing cop oh, hovered over for barracuda and not locked I hate, in. I hate these players i hate all these players they bait us thinking exciting things are gonna happen in the game and they don't do you know what i'm so glad i'm not casting this because i'm so salty right about now but we do have the double a team ready for you aggro and adonis boo Hold on, we'll get to that in a second, but we're wearing like the same hey man, the purple. same sort of thing. Purple, purple look great on us. Yeah, I think we both look really definitely, good. You definitely, you definitely, I regret it. You definitely should have went with the Twitch and your pen. I'll get it between games. Anyways, uh, some spicy picks highlighted, not locked in for either team. Although I really do think that Thanatos could have worked simply because it's a very comfortable pick for Noble. And, you know, getting that early pressure like they like to do, like you mentioned, it's a comfortable pick for Mirage. It could have worked. I wish I wish you would have done it. Could have worked. Anyways, Noble, they are not going to be able to qualify for Super Regionals, but what they are fighting for are gauntlet points. Again, the seeding in the gauntlet, vital. You you want to have as many points because if you're that eight seed, if you have the, the lowest number of points when it comes time to seed the gauntlet, you have to go through the challenger team and then one, two, three teams above. Like, it's just way too much you don't want to deal with. Although, uh, talking to Allegis, they said, yeah, the plan, the plan was to just get as low as points as possible. That way they get more practice throughout the gauntlet. That's true, you get to warm up a little bit. You don't have to start at the top and play a team that may have gotten hot, you know, a challenger cup team true. or a lower end seed that could have gotten hot throughout the course of the gauntlet. But all jokes aside, I'm sure Allegiance wants to be the top seed heading into the gauntlet. They're gonna have to try their best through that. But one final matchup for the day. This is gonna be it for Group B. Noble taking on Luminosity and to be honest, the games we saw uh, in this set before, I mean, Noble had a game. They threw it at Fire Giant. This is a team that really can not beat LG. I think they've already proven that. Every every team has had a little bit of trouble with Noble at one point or another. ALG, obviously mm -hmm. the one with the most trouble because they're the only ones who lost to the eighth place seed in North America. But Luminosity really also should have lost. Eager almost threw a lead that, and it looked like Noble was gonna be able to come back and win that game as well. So Noble's definitely not been the pushover no. that a lot of people expected them to be. But with uh, Luminosity, all the pressure is off their shoulders right now. They're already second seed from this group heading into Super Regionals. Xenotronics bringing out this Poseidon. We, we, we heard the analysts kind of talk about they stripped it away from Maduro. We saw the Isis and Zeus bands, but this also might be a practice platform for LG to see if they really can utilize this Poseidon in future games. Very true. Plus with the buffs to Gem of Isolation on yes. 3.19, I expect that we'll see be seeing a little bit more of Poseidon as we move forward. Of course, this group still being played on 3.18, but Poseidon for me, I'm totally biased. I love Poseidon, one of my favorite gods He's to fun. play. He's so much fun and in, in a lot of different matchups, he does very well. Up against Ratatosker, he can really shut down the dash. Up against Susano, shut down those dashes as well. The cripple is so strong on him. I mean, even in this match, right, you look at the gods that Noble have drafted. This Giannis going to be crippled out of those portals if Xenotronics can get the Whirlpool down before he can make it through. Also against a Thor, who relies very heavily on escaping with his hammer or forcing the issue with his hammer. Exactly. Plus, the slow is going to be coming out on him whenever he's using that spin to win on you, so Ooh. you can kind of kite him a little bit. Scary D bringing the Susano to Solane as well back and forth right now between him and walrus walrus does have the lead right now in potions you have to assume the ama is going to come out of top on this one but i'm really excited to see how the susana works out for lg i heard cope talking to scary d after their last matchup where cope was the one playing that susano in the solo Webbing. lane about the matchup. oh webbing getting very low jeff hinla looking to line up the charge right now on cooldown 
not going to happen. A little bit too risky to dive deep into that tower. Mid lane, though, Adoro and Mirage doing a good job of farming out. LG have found a, a little bit of a lead, though, gaining control of those mid harpies. Just a little bit, and that's the push power that Poseidon can bring to you, your, to your squad overall. Just excellent early pressure. And right there, the double tap as well, keeping Xenotronics on low health. And actually, that Whirlpool might have forced Noble into deciding to go all in. Xenotronics very low. The purification's not going to be good. Adoro finds first blood for Noble. And now Adoro has to run away. Mask going to be able to hit him pretty hard with those auto attacks, but able to get away just barely. That That is a weakness of Poseidon, though, is that once you throw, out, throw down that Whirlpool, you don't have a whole lot in your yeah. kit to help you run away. The Trident helps you get extra movement speed, but once ah, that man. slow is gone, it's tough. And even Mirage here, I mean, we just saw the double tap. That's what set up that kill, was fighting the double tap onto Xenotronics there, and then Xenotronics uh, not expecting them to go back aggressive on it. The Whirlpool actually assisted in Noble getting that kill. Exactly. Once that cooldown is uh, is down, you don't have to worry about it anymore. You don't have to worry. If you go aggressive onto Poseidon when he has that Whirlpool up, I mentioned it earlier, you can really just lay it at your feet and wow. cut around. Walrus, very low right now. Thought he was going to get the better end of this one, but it's Scary D really controlling him. Probably showing Cope how to do it. I think I, I think I heard him say that. He's like, I'm yes. going to show Cope how to play Susano real quick. A little bit of that, and Scary D got soloed multiple times by Walrus in their previous set, so yeah. I'm sure that he wants to get, you know, it's all fun in games right now. These games don't mean anything to LG. Their seating is locked, but it does mean something to Noble. Scary D. Could have been under pressure there. The double globals from Aduro and Mirage. Could have been sent over, but they're not going to risk it just yet. Scary D is going to be fine. And so this Susano is actually something that has been really experimented with in the soul. I believe it was Baskin who brought it yes. out in the online stages of the SPL. Yes, and uh, it's, an it's fun to play. Susano is just one of those gods that feels really good to play. And just putting him anywhere you can, he brings a lot. He brings the mobility. He brings the CC. He also brings the damage. And there was, a, you know, you, you can start the Transcendence 2 yep. and go for that sort of rush, or here the Blue Stone plus the Boot's going to help you clear. Mirage going to take to the sky, looking for Scary D. A little bit overextended. Walrus is here, along with the Duro as well. Mirage really waiting for it. Read Scary perfectly. The stun, though, Blocks unfortunate. Just going to keep him out. Scary D makes it back to tower, and here's the counter engage coming out from ne Nemesis. Mirage oh! straight through the portal, dodges the Kraken just barely. Mass doesn't want to give up the kill, though. Can't keep up the chase, <laughs> even with the speed buff. <laughs> Look at him giggling right there. Duro's yelling. I, I, Duro's always yelling. That's the way he just is as a player, and, I, and I'm a big fan of that. But Zeno just a little bit off the mark with that Kraken. Wasn't sure if he was going to be able to go through that portal at that exact time. Yeah, the Whirlpool wasn't down there to keep the cripple. Unfortunate for him. But Mirage, I mean, I got to give so I was like, why is he taking so long? But he actually waits for all of the cooldowns for Scary D to finish before he goes in. The wall placement, though, if it's a better wall, it's a kill. Well, I've been looking for a kill as well, but just going to back off of the horse. Doesn't feel like it's going to be easy. Just wanted to show it off, you know, let everyone on the LG know what his particular horse looks like. Maybe yeah. <laughs> tell him the name. Maybe Wubbin has got a particular name. He what plays you, what, one you What lot. would you expect Wubbin to name his horse? I'm not allowed to say that on broadcast. Okay, let's not talk about that. Four and a half minutes in right now. No invades just yet. A lot of attention over to that soul lane, though. I mean, it, it's you have to, right? There's a Susano in the soul lane. He's an assassin. You know he does a lot of damage and a lot of control once he gets his items online. You have a warrior. You're supposed to set up invades, and I'm wondering if Noble really aren't taking advantage of the Susano enough right now. Only one ultimate to that side. Mirage still hasn't gotten it back on cooldown, but I would have liked to see him as soon as he hit five, just head on over there, basically. No purification for Scary D. Elected to Good go for shots. the top four. Actually, four, five in a row. Oh. Barra barely gets the rewind, but wow, he's already waiting for him. Getting that ult there for free. Pretty good job from him. One auto attack away from finishing Barra there. Just Barra not really respecting the damage out of Wowie right now, and Wowie's shown he could play this ROM. Mirage looking for a repeat here. Onto the right lane, just off the mark. Good wall again, but he blocks off his teammate, but he body blocks Scary D into the tower. Second kill coming to Noble. Mask going to try to respawn and look for a counter kill. Here comes the ultimate, looking for the slice and dice. Going to be able to finish him off. He knows it. Mirage knew it as well. Mirage just loves the dive yeah. towers, man. He doesn't care if he dies in return. He's totally happy with that. I think that. he took more damage from towers in the SPL than any player. Zeno, a little bit caught out here by a Duro. Duro off the mark. Just going to portal him. Surprising purification, but he is going to force a Duro to ult in response. And here comes Jeff as well. The peel from Moven not going to be easy. And I don't see how a Duro makes it out of this one. A Duro actually missed the wall with through space and time. Almost gets back to the portal, but... A little bit rushed on that ultimate there. Shot it directly down the middle lane. That doesn't really help you too No, got to love what Zeno does there. He full commits onto Aduro, forces the ult. Aduro doesn't dive. But what he knew was that Jeff Hindler was looping up behind him. Exactly. But if Aduro puts that, puts that portals on the wall, 
he's out. That's a, that's definitely a yep. misplay. You get the ultimate. You get the sanctuary as well. So now for the next 130 seconds, Zeno's going to be looking at a Duro with that Kraken. And despite Noble getting first blood, LG continue to outfarm them right now. Not by much, but 400 gold. When you had that first gold bounty, not really what you want to see. Mirage hasn't really been able to make that impact that I think he originally intended to. And he might actually set up for a third kill on Scary Dior, or a third attempt, excuse me. No, not having the impact that you want. And you see that it's actually Mass who has a level lead despite that first blood. And it's Scary D. He's got the gold lead in the solo lane. Overall, definitely a win right now for Luminosity. Their late game composition is excellent with the Nemesis and the Kronos. Luminosity setting up for these right mid harpies. And they are going to gain control, but Noble looping around behind them. Stun off the mark there. Mass is going to be able to get back, but Jeff's in a little bit of trouble. He's got to dash out. And here comes the counter gate for Mass. Gonna find the ult onto Aduro, who portals away, and it looks like it's just gonna be an ult for free. Mass, a little bit, a uh, little bit hasty on that ultimate, I'd say. There, no, no one, one was near him. No one on LG able to follow up, and uh, I'm sure Jeff had a, co a couple things to say about that. He usually does. Yeah, actually, Wubbin here gonna try and peel right now. Once again, Jeff going very deep. Aduro makes it through the portal, so he's fine. And Mirage takes to the sky. He could land back down on Jeff Hinla. He's looking to line it up right now. Wubbin doing so much damage. Here he comes off the mark again, and there's the whirlpool. Jeff stays alive for a little bit, but it's Wubbin who comes up with the kill. Jeff is just baiting himself, looking to get Zeno a really good crack and he only finds Wowie with that, does force the ult and the purification from him with the help of Mast. But there, Jeff was trying to get everyone to group on that bottom left-hand side for Zeno to make a big play. Noble recognized that, spread out beautifully, and are able to get the kill for free. Really good spacing. And then once again, Mirage holding his ult until he needs to come down. Has not been hitting them, though. He's been off the mark. And Zoning I, ults. I don't, I don't think he's hit a single one of the three or four we've seen. Eh, you know, who needs that? Zoning ults. <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna zone his That's team. He's gonna zone makes. his team out of a win <laughs> if he keeps that up. Uh, Mirage, honestly though, I mean, you know, these guys from Noble, they came out here zero experience at LAN. Mm -hmm. And while they've only been able to close out one game so far, you gotta give them props for how much I think we've seen them grow. And we we see them very similar to Elevate, be able to team fight. We see the individual plays. You know, Wowie's been doing really well. Uh, Duro's had some games. Wowie still trying to do well, but could be in trouble here. Barracuda gonna put on the gas pedal, trying to get the solo kill. On to Wowie. One no more alt. auto attack should do it. Barra, please. There it is. Gets a solo kill. On to Wowie. And that earlier we saw Wowie get the best yeah. of Barra. That time, they had a little bit more. Issue off here Wowie doesn't have the ult available. Was on cooldown for another 30 seconds. Barracuda in his fight obviously had it. That's not good for, for Noble because Wowie really has been a, a shining light for this team. He's actually gotten the, maybe not the better end of other hunters, but he's been putting them under pressure. He doesn't allow them to just sit there and free farm. No, and he really does play for that late game overall still. We, we heard Venenu talk about it in his interview mm -hmm. about how he, he like, Wowie seems to really like to play for the later game stages. He doesn't want to fight you in lane a whole lot, but we haven't really seen all that. And Scary D gonna use the ultimate and there oh, the body blocks. Split. Oh, but he turns it around and kills Scary. Unfortunate there. Scary D not giving enough respect to that Amaterasu too. I mean, that thing shreds wow. you. Scary D, he probably could have just backed out of there, but still the one-for-one one trade. I mean, does that favor Susano? It, yes and no. I mean, you get the assist still on the kill from Walrus, plus you see Sobek getting that assist as well as uh, Mass actually finding the kill. So overall, it favors, favors Luminosity as a whole. But in that particular Noble. scenario, I'd give it to Ama. Gonna be starting off this Gold Fury right now. LG a little bit slow to respond. They do have the wall from Mirage to block people off here. The teleport's coming in from the Soul Laner as well. And the Gold Fury is secured by Noble, but they've lost Wowie. They lost Mirage as well. Wubbin and Walrus are in a little bit of trouble too, but it seems like LG just want to disengage. Aduro oh. finds Mast in the back line, and that's gonna set up the kill for Z. Notronics, Mass couldn't be able to get in there. Two for one right now in favor of Luminosity, but it's Noble who got the Gold Fury, and it actually puts the Gold Lead into their favor. LG trying to invade off of this. They know that Noble was forced back, but Barracuda is not going to be able to do so. Walrus does secure the red buff, but Aduro caught away, uh, giving his jungle. Scary follows him through the portal. He's got to get out, though. Scary D, almost a highlight play there. I like it. I'm showing some comfortability on that assassin in the solo lane that you don't usually see, but no surprise for me to hear that Scary is comfortable on an assassin. We've seen him play Fenrir solo yeah. a lot. I'm very surprised we didn't see that. That's and, true. And in fact, we saw Mass on Fenrir last game, and good lord, that's all. That's all I <laughs> have let, to say about just that. Just let game. just let Divios play it, right? Just he could play it in solo, and he's fine. No one else picked Fenrir at all, uh, at all. To be I'm, fair, their comp was really good I, at shutting I, down the Fenrir. Yeah, sure. I, I think I'm okay with Scary playing Fenrir in the solo lane. We've seen him have success on that. Yeah. I just never want to see Mass play it ever again. <laughs>
I, it's man, you're brutal right now. I, hey, he he's doing really well. Even even, even Wowie's laughing right now at the well, shots he's you're always, taking. He's always laughing. It's, it's the Rom, man. You gotta exactly. laugh. I don't right. think I've seen him laugh on any other character but Rom so far this weekend. Yo, Mass knows he like missed four alt chomps in the solo lane and just screaming, "I'm missing all my alts. I don't know what to do." It was uh, it was brutal to watch right now. Hey, a little bit of trouble for Noble in this game. They did secure the Gold Fury, uh, got a kill off of it as well, but still not that far in the lead like you would like to be, uh, especially with that Thor Giannis, the double global presence. They haven't been able to set up a lot. Right hand side, a little bit of pressure, and Mirage is dead. Not sure okay. what he was doing there. No purification used either. Walrus going to get tossed right into the tidal wave, but he's going in on top of Zeno. Walrus, he's going to be fine for now on Aduro. Just trying to make space. He does have portals. And Noble really aren't putting themselves in a position right now for LG to go aggressive. They know that Kraken is up on Xenotronics. You always have to be aware of that, especially if he has the Whirlpool ready as well. But it's going to be Walrus looking for Xeno. The Kraken's barely going to scratch him. One more shot. There it is. Walrus finds Xeno. Mast trying to answer back, but he can't. Too much poke damage coming up from Enduro. And Noble continue to find these picks. Positioning doesn't seem to be a big worry for anyone in these games, but particularly Xeno now 0 and 3. Oh and 3. Walking in. No respect there for the damage of Mama. Good. Purification coming out from Maduro. Not going to get plucked by Jeff Hinla, but Scary D is waiting around the corner. Mirage takes to the sky, and Mast is low. He is going to distance that ultimate, the hammer, and there's the Retribution Shield as well. Mast trying to create space, can't though. Noble find a kill, and here's Wubbin as well to help protect his team. Stun Scary D, there's the purification from him. Wowie is now here. May look to go for the snipes so they can get someone low. Jeff, he's taking a decent amount of poke damage, and Wowie doing a lot as well. Has his ult available, but no one in range. He's also not Marvel, so it's probably not going to hit I was going to say, he should just yell up to Marvels in the crowd, hey, do I have enough damage if I hit all three? And he's like, yes. He and probably would. He, he would probably tell you. He <laughs> really would. He knows. Good job by Noble right now. Able to bait out a lot of ults in the mid lane. Also that kill from Zeno. Oh. The double tap. Barra. Here, Here we go. One shot. All it takes. Second shot. Doesn't connect. Jeff Hinla barely back to base. But Barracuda taking a spill there. He doesn't seem too worried about it. Noble are fighting back, though. This could be another game they win. Bear is always worried about getting montaged by Marvels, but maybe he should be worried about getting montaged by Wowie. Hits I, the snipes there. Hey, you know, that's the thing, I think, with a lot of these players playing in these lands. Despite what, You never know what's going to happen with your teams, and if you come out and show up, like, these people are going to be so valuable for the top teams who are looking to trade out some players into next season. You want to play your best, and Wowie is showing that he deserves to play at this high of a level. The laning phase still needs a little bit of work, in my opinion, for Wowie, but the late game team fight, without a doubt, has looked very strong throughout this tournament. He's gotten some triple kills, specifically on this Rom. That's been the god that he's looked the most comfortable on. Right now, Wowie got his red buff in tow, too, so I, what, what do you feel about this? Because it used to be mid laners red buff all the time. Yes. Now we're starting to see the transition into that dual row. Wowie now yeah. has this red buff. And he has been doing a lot of damage as well, to be fair. I, I don't like it because I play mid and I want my red buff. Hold that thought. Mirage doesn't have anyone to land on. Scary D backed. Okay, so back to red buff in mid lane. Uh, I don't like it because I like to have my own red, but I understand it. And it's definitely very useful for ADCs in competitive play. It allows you to get the advantage boxing in lane and it's basically you can't give your mid laner red unless they're really really fed because if oh, the other if the opposing mid adc gets it they're in trouble well sprint's gonna be popped walrus looked like he was in a good spot Zeno is Zeno. gonna hit by the ultimate and it is a full dive onto this poseidon sanctuary is not gonna save him though kraken tickles walrus lg going aggressive on mirage in the meantime can't secure the kill and now noble a little bit overextended but i actually think this is a bait this is a good spot for him nice shell there stops the damage from storm kata walrus still wants to go aggressive wow he has rotated. Jeff uses the pluck. Now he's going to die for it. Nimult, oh, not going to be useful. Still the chase from Scary D. Barra finds the kill. Aduro doing a lot of fight, a lot of damage oh, in this fight. Him. And Aduro can't even get it through the wall. Scary wants it. Is he going to TP? Do no, it. he is not. Yeah, Mass it. does take out Aduro in the end. And Scary D trying to get away, Wowie's but here up. goes Wowie again. One, two. No, no three. Marvels shakes his head in the crowd. Scary D just trying to juke out. He lost him. Wowie doesn't know where he went. There He's he looking is. for the auto attack. Need it. Uh, no. Just short once again. But Mass is still fighting. He's got the shield. Barra, double kill for him. Really extended engagement. And he might be able to pick up a third here. Wubbin slowed to death. One more shot. And it's going to be three for Barra. Triple coming out for Kronos. And he just giggles his way. He's now level 16. Wasn't really doing a whole lot before that fight. But all of a sudden, he is massive. That was a 
really awkward engagement, right? They, uh, yeah. It seemed like Noble were able to pick up uh, Zeno in the back line, full commit, but then they were just so spread out, they had a lot of trouble regrouping. Three big teamfight ultimates used to kill Xenotronics. Through Space and Time, Cavalry Charge, and Dazzling Offensive, all blown to make sure that Zeno died. And he just stalled long enough. He did all he could. There was no peeling for him in that scenario. No. Nothing his team could have done either. But at the end of the day, Noble just used way too much to try and kill him, and Bear was able to clean up because of it. And Scarity and Mast having great games as well. We saw them stay alive for so... They just stayed alive for so long. Scarity with the mobility on Susano as well. LG got to get a Gold Fury after that fight. Now finally in the lead. About uh, 600 gold, so a little bit of a lead right now. But for the most part, this is a dead even game. For the most part, yeah. I mean, the, the experience lead is pretty big in the jungle right now, though. In my opinion, Mirage should have another kill. He's 2, 4, and 4. He should be 3, 4, and 4 for blocking off a Duro and getting him killed. That's true. That should have gone to him. Yeah. He should get the gold for that. Ults have not been the best. I think we commented on 4 missed, and then the one in the, the mid right-hand side. Walrus going to have the ult, trying to get away. Mass going very aggressive, and Scary D secures the kill. A Duro responds with his his ult, trying to get his team through, and actually they're gonna find Zeno once again, fourth death of the game for the Poseidon. Mirage takes to the sky, Jeff Himla caught in the middle of three right now, but Mast and Scary D are underneath, and Mirage bailed on his team! <laughs> Where is Mirage Completely going? Completely bailed on You're him! You're still fighting, dude, come back! Now it's Wowie up in the sky, everyone just gonna ignore him until he hits the ground, Barra just zoning out the rest of the team by himself. Scary D gets the last hit, two, two, and six on the Assassin in the solo lane. Aduro going to probably take a spill here as well. Nice Ooh. purification. Does get through the portal, but Bear is around the corner looking for the time stop. Just off the mark. Scary still wants it. Forced the Sanctuary out of Aduro as well. Great, great job baiting out these relics. But I have never seen anyone bail on a fight harder than Mirage. He had a, he had I've cast in a lot of games. I've never seen that. He had an appointment to go to. These boars, uh, he, he made a date. He's, he's he had to be there at exactly 18 <laughs> minutes, man. He couldn't be late. He was real excited about it. <laughs> Walrus right now, 3-3-4, three, three, and four, doing a good job. Once again, Noble are really abusing this Poseidon pick, but they haven't really been able to win more off of it. That, that seems to be their main issue. Walrus, he's pretty tanky right now, but he does have a Chrono shredding him. There's the ultimate from Nemesis as well, stripping health, stripping protections, and Mast finds his seventh of this game. You know Scary D was like, yo, can we just kill Walrus a bunch of times in solo lane so I feel a little bit better? I mean, he's, level, he's got a two-level lead right now. Mirage going to try and split push. He is going to be able to get out of tower. So something going on for Noble here while Luminosity <laughs> siege up the right-hand side and kill a couple of his teammates. Yo, Mirage is playing Xing Chen's Mountain right now. I, he <laughs> might be. Aduro right. threads the needle there. All right, it's Can't good. connect on a Barracuda while he was ulting. Unfortunate for him. Mirage does want to stay for this tier two, but with Scary D's appearance, Mirage knows, right? Three levels down, he's just got to alt out. He can't take that fight straight up. No, no three, like you mentioned, three levels down. And look at all the damage online for Scary oh, D right scary. now. All oh, oh, he barely backed. missed him. Just, just That's two. Late. That's two now. Jeff backing with the raw malts and then uh, the, the, the wind siphon right before. Uh, and uh, we saw Mirage make it back. But look at Scary D. He's just being a jungler right now. Going to find Wowie. Sanctuary is going to keep him alive. And Scary D is going to bail on that fight. Both re relics burned there. Now Aduro is in a ton of trouble. No relics for him. Heal coming in Good from Blonde's going to keep him alive. Wubbin, shout outs to him. Look at Walrus, and Wubbin knows it too. Going to go aggressive. They're looking for Mast right now. Dazzling offense and Wowie's rotation. The stun is perfect. Xenotronics ult off the mark. Wowie's going to fall. Let's take a listen to LG's comms as they try and fight back to this one. I have a DB on him. I have a DB on him. Nice. That's his beads as well. Good beads! Good beads! <laughs> nice fucking play, Scary. <laughs> really nice job, dude. We can keep playing up here. I can, I can do it. Scary, I have weakening. Yeah. Get to get to yep. Uh, nice speed, nice. We're going double push right now. Yeah, actually, we're going double push. Yeah, we're going double push. Alright, I'm coming. Also 15. Okay. You can go, I'm moving on. Yep. You got a flag? Yep. Nice flag. Oh, we can't heal. Oh, we can't heal. We can't heal. It's fine. Yeah, okay, we can go. Yep. I'm tired. Uh, nice pressure. Yeah, you guys wait for the right. I'm, I'm, I'm back in a I have ult, I have ult, I have ult. I can't ult right, tank I'm anymore. Alright. Ult is off. Don't lose, Gary. Let's get there. Yeah. Get tower and get out. Get tower and get, get out. Nice. Right, nice They're all out. Where is ult? Where is ult? Speed oh. back up. That's Jay. Yeah, ult down. They're chasing through this. Bear, just get out. I see them. 
You guys they're should give it a race in time. They're, they're gonna, gonna go for it for sure. They are on it. I messed. They're really low. Okay, Noble. <laughs> Big ult right. coming out from Maduro at the end of that siege there. You heard Luminosity get the tower, get out, but you can't run away from a Giannis. Now they have the opportunity for Fire Giant. Luminosity knows that, though. You heard the call, and they're actually going to go on Maduro. Great wall by Mirage once again. FG getting very low. Could go either way, but Noble does secure it. They find Barra as well. Mass the only one remaining, and Mirage is going to take to the nope. sky. He's got to hit at least one. He's got this one. Nailed it. No purification. Mass is going to be the deicide. Maduro gets the final kill there. Well deserved. With, all started there with Aduro, ulting in, insta-killing Jeff, getting his whole team in on Scary D, on Barra, on Zeno. They all fall. Now Fire Giant on five members of Noble, and they're pushing down some towers. Really good position for them right now as well. Jeff trying to body block. He knows Zeno has just respawned. Walrus a little low, and Jeff's got a bail from this tower. He can't defend it, but he might have delayed Noble enough that they're a little bit hesitant to go on any other towers, and that seems to be the call. Head straight to Gold Fury. Just get that gold and spend it. I like that call because you are you were behind in gold. You were lacking some items, and then you get a, a full DSI to Fire Giant. Let's get the Tier 2, 1,500 gold. Let's get the Gold Fury, more gold, and then back, spend it, and then make the most out of this push. Farming boars, farming back camps, probably shouldn't be happening right now. And, and there's the uh, face it player comparison for you. Aduro versus Xenotronics. Aduro, a veteran, but he has not ever been on a top team as a starting member. Xenotronics, uh, a, a new rookie coming into the scene this season, had a little bit of shaky performances on Denial earlier on, but he really seems to be gelling with this LG squad. Just maybe not so much on this Poseidon. Not so much on the Poseidon. You mentioned it during the draft. This is just a, hey, can we run this during Super Regionals? And I think the uh, I think that's what it was. The jury has is starting to come back into the courtroom and I think I have their verdict. Now, to be fair, there is a whole lot of kills right now. Oh yeah. There's Look, 34 kills on the board in not, 21 minutes. This is minutes. not your typical this is <laughs> Hello? Hello? Just look at Wubbin's face. Wubbin. Wubbin. Hello? Wubbin, are you there? Hello. Okay, Wubbin's back. He was AFK for a little bit. Guys. Okay, yeah. I, did someone else take control yeah, of his yeah, keyboard heard, there? Yo, that's a t that's a classic Dan move. I bet you Dan did <laughs> Dan that. was probably like, yo, let, let me in this game real quick. 23 minutes Smack in right now. Off. Fire Giant in hand on all of Noble. They were able to spin their gold after that Gold Fury as well. They're going to try and siege this up. Shell popped pretty early right now. Mirage takes to the sky, looking to line people up, and he's going to be off the mark once again. <laughs> all five there, but he misses them all. Scary dude doing a ton Wowie. of damage. Oh. Finds the second, finds oh. the third, but Barra gets the rewind right now. Didn't see Jeff on the side. A Duro's ult is off the mark as well, but Noble have Fire Giant. They're regening so much, and Mass was caught, left alone. Barracuda now, no ult. He's getting chased down by Mirage. Sanctuary gonna keep him alive. A great ball by Mirage, though. Lines up Wubbin for the kill. The Sanctuary used by Aduro perfectly on time, immunes the Kraken. It's the regen from the fire. It's the heals from Guan Yu. Is this game? This is game. I mean, there's four dead right now. That's the shell popped. It looks like Noble. Noble's going to win the game. Wow. That is a uh, exciting turn of events there. Obviously, LG already secured for second seed, but Noble, they really do need these games. They need these wins. They want to have as many points as possible going into the gauntlet. And that's a great start. One more game, they're going to be on four points. That's a really big win for Noble. It's like you mentioned, just seeding themselves for the gauntlet, getting them as close to the top as they can. And can Noble pass ALG if they no. win this next game? ALG's on five. OK, so they'd be at four. And be at four, just so short. But in the other group, right, if, if there's teams that finish with zero, two, or three, like if it's like a clean sweep between two of the teams in Group D, the other two teams only trade out with each other, they'll be ahead of them. I mean, that's that's got to feel good. Um, heading into this next game, knowing that you could have a, an advantage, right? One less, even one less team to play in the gauntlet is all you need. There's a huge difference because we all know the, the type of variance that can happen in games, especially with a with a vo volatile sort of team like Noble. You never know what you're going to get. So if you can cut down the number of games you're going to have to play in order to qualify for Super Regionals is going to benefit you. And speaking of benefiting you, these types of games are really fun to play yeah. and competitive whenever there's not a whole lot nothing, on the line and you can just you. play really loose and you see the type of big play potential that you can get whenever you're not all stressed out. I mean, we did an interview actually with Stealth just after they lost their games. And a lot a lot of what he said was that we didn't feel like we played to our potential. We, we 
didn't feel like we played like we do online or in scrims. There was a lot more pressure on us, and we weren't able to perform because of that. But we'll see if that was the case here. We're going to throw it over to Hindu and the rest of the analysts. So much to Dennis and Agro. Joining me again is Tolly and Taco as well to come alongside it and see exactly how things have gone on. Look at those pretty faces. Look at those pretty faces on screen right now. There we go. They're away now. It's all good. How are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty good, despite the setup that I experienced early today. No, kind of like how Noble set up LG it, and it was into, a setup as well. <laughs> that, was, that was definitely a setup and well planned by the Clowns and Crowns. They actually, they, they trolled LG into trolling themselves. They played themselves, honestly. Mind blown. Uh, let's go back through that last fight again, Taco. Talk, talk me over the last fight overall. I think where that really kicked off, or most importantly, was when Wowie went up into the air and he forced the ultimate out of Barracuda. He had a rewind, so he was already down. And then, unlike the walls that we saw from Mirage earlier in the set, trapping Adura into his own death, instead he was trapping the boys of Luminosity into their deaths. And I think that it was just pretty impactful overall. Just one by one, LG slowly fell down, and then eventually they were just so behind that they were just able to siege the Phoenix I mean, and totally. siege the Titan. The problem with this here, right, is this is exactly what happens. When there's no pressure anymore, you have fun, and you start freaking winning games. So <laughs> Luminosity, they, like Taco mentioned, they kind of played themselves. It was Noble that kind of gave them a little bit of a lead where Luminosity got the comfort enough to try to push down the Tier 1 mid tower, got the Tier 2 mid as well, but that's when Noble went on the counter aggression. They found three easy picks. Mm -hmm. We saw both Barra and Mass trying to stop the Fire Giant push, but not lucky enough to steal it away. It they got deicided and Noble came back with a nice victory over was, Luminosity. Was